The Fair Debt Collection Practices Act FDCPA, is a consumer protection amendment to the Consumer Credit Protection Act meant to prevent abusive debt collection practices. This act applies only to personal, family, or household transactions. It does not apply to business-related debts. With that said, certain tactics are prohibited in this act. Such as the following, calling consumers outside the 8 o'clock a.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. time period. After receiving a written notice from the consumer which highlights either no further communication or refusal to pay the debt, an agency should not contact the consumer in any way other than litigation. Failing to end communication with a consumer upon request. Calling repeatedly to annoy, abuse, or harass a consumer. Communicating with the consumers at their place of work even after the employer has barred them. Attorney representation is privately contacting a consumer that is represented by an attorney. Communicating with the consumer after a request for validation has been made. Communicating slash pursuing efforts with the consumer by the debt collector after receipt of a consumer's written request for verification of a debt made within the 30-day validation period. Misrepresentation slash deceit, claiming to be law enforcement slash an attorney to collect a debt. Publishing the consumer's name and or address on a, a bad debt list. Seeking unjustified amounts, which includes demanding any amount exceeding the debt or applicable under law. Threatening legal action or arrest using profane in the course of communication relating to the debt. Communicating slash discussing debts with third parties, other than the spouse or attorney. Contacting the consumer via embarrassing media such as a postcard or using any language or symbol other than the debt collector's address on any envelope. When communicating with a consumer by the use of the mail or by telegram. Reporting false information on credit reports. The FDCPA Act requires debt collectors to do the following when contacting a consumer, identify themselves and notify the consumer. Provide the name and address of the original creditor. Notify the consumer of their right to dispute their debts under Section 805, in part or in full, with the debt collector. Provide proper verification of the debt. Which means, if a consumer sends a written dispute or request for verification, within 30 days of receiving the consumer's notice, the debt collector must either mail information to the consumer or cease collection efforts altogether. A lawsuit must be filed in the proper venue. If a debt collector chooses to file a case, it can only be in a place where either the consumer lives or signed the contract. Credit Fixer is the best DIY credit repair software. Follow us on all social media at Credit Fixer for more consumer law and disputing tips.